Hey guys, welcome back to Web3 Money. Today, we will be talking about the Mochaverse NFTs. So we're doing another culture trip. And uh, I found something on OpenSea Pro while I was doing research and these NFTs were trending. And I wanted to go ahead and understand a little bit more about this project. They were minted about a year ago and let's get into it. So as you guys know, I wrote this uh, nice, neat article inside of Web3 Money. Uh, you'll be able to you know, understand the background, value proposition, team, etc. Um, so why don't we go ahead and just you know, get started. So actually the Mochaverse NFTs have been a collection of the Annie Mocha brands. Um, this is a really big company in the entertainment space for, for quite some time. Uh, but the NFTs actually were launched in March of last year. Um, and we're going to go ahead and check the OpenSea Pro just in a bit. But uh, essentially, Animoca has been spanning across the entire Web3 uh, community, uh, whether it's subsidiaries, you know, projects, joint ventures, partners, whatever it may be. Uh, so these are actually PFPs or mochas. So uh, you guys could see, you know, how uh, cute and innocent or not so innocent these uh, little PFPs are. Uh, but basically, they serve as membership uh, tokens inside of the Animoca ecosystem. Uh, and also they serve, you know, the team members, investors, partners, and uh, and token holders. Um, so why don't we go ahead and jump to the unique value proposition. So Mochaverse NFTs provide access to exclusive Web3 community and a wide range of membership benefits across Animoca's portfolio. Holders can enjoy opportunities for learning expert AMAs, playing, you know, game passes and in-game assets, building like accelerator programs and doing good contributing to social causes. The collection represents the shared values and ethos of Animoca brands around Web3 and digital property rights. Okay, so uh, as I uh, keep on doing these NFT reviews, um, you know, there there's, seems to be a very strong trend in terms of, you know, these huge, large ecosystem creating a mini world, right? They, they want to go ahead and create their own accelerator programs or their own in-game assets or, you know, their own social causes. And so uh, you see a lot of these memberships, it's not only memberships to parties or whatnot, but specifically to their own world, to their own universe. Um, and so we're going to see, we're going to see a lot of these, right? And so whenever you're doing an NFT research, you should always try to connect with what you're passionate about, with what you love, with what you like to do. Uh, so for example, if you're not into gaming, you should probably not get into a gaming NFT collection, right? You should not go ahead and collect that. If you're into art, for example, you should definitely check that out. Um, anyway, so, so Mocha is definitely, uh, inside of the, uh, entertainment, uh, universe. Um, and here they actually tweeted, uh, in late January, let's build the Mochaverse. We could go ahead and just watch that this bit, please. At the bad not all time, I think it's both that. And so what's an entwirling toss did the Let's build the home together. Um, at the end of the day, all of life is just a big, big game. Uh, and this is going to be a game within the game. Uh, anyway, so you could see that the Mocha Foundation, along with the Animoca brands. Uh, oh, I actually just realized the <laughs> Animoca brands and Mocha verse or the Mocha NFTs is obviously related to the Mocha in between that. OK, I did not see that, but that's good to know. Uh, play on words. Uh, okay, let's talk about the team. So Mochaverse is led by a strong team from Annie Mocha Brands, including co-founder and executive chairman, Yat Siu. Um, so you actually could go ahead and 
check Yatsiu. So Yatsiu is a entrepreneur and angel investor, 51 years old, you know, obviously talked about, you know, throughout the whole world. Um, and a Hong Kong based entrepreneur. Uh, and he was born and raised in Vienna and has been in the industry for, for quite some time. So you guys could go ahead and check out his LinkedIn profile, an advocate of true digital property rights. This is something that we'll be checking out inside of their website, you know, very, you know, very recently. What Animoca brands, specifically in the game, in the Web3 community do is try to go ahead and integrate this IP legal uh, infrastructures for any kind of creators to be implemented in this in this universe. Um, so it's just not another gaming or blockchain, you know, Web3 gaming uh, uh, technology, but uh, in a way, a legal, you know, company. Uh, anyway, so you could see here that, you know, he's been the chairman of the board. Obviously, Animoca Brands is a, is a massive, you know, company. Um, you guys could go ahead and understand the sandbox, crazy kings, crazy defense heroes. Uh, these are all of some of the products that they own uh, underneath as, you know, subsidiaries. Um, they've been operating for about, you know, nine years, uh, close to 10 years. Uh, why don't we go ahead and check something quickly? Um, so, yeah, it seems like they're currently, they're currently, yeah, they're based in Hong Kong. You guys should check it out. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's the founder, um, Tyler Durden serves as the head of projects, bringing his deep expertise into NFTs, DeFi, and re refi to propel Animoca into new Web3 territories. Uh, so, guys, this is not Tyler Durden from Fight Club. Uh, you might go ahead and understand that this is the famous character that Brad Pitt actually plays uh, as the narrator inside of the Fight Club movie. This is not title, uh, Tyler Durden, uh, but actually um, the... Um, Tyler Durden of the Mochaverse. And you guys could go ahead and check out his LinkedIn profile as well. Um, and yeah, this is basically uh, what you need to know from uh, from the team. Uh, you guys could go ahead and check out his Twitter as well. Uh, he has close to 8,000 followers. Give him a shout out. Obviously, he does play the Tyler Durden narrator uh, character, uh, but within the Mochaverse uh, ecosystem. And so he's kind of like the bridge uh, between the, the 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 traditional world and the and the Web three world, um, awesome. So yep, you could guys could go ahead and check out the Animoca brands itself uh, as a you know bigger ecosystem, not just the, you know the the, the MochaVerse itself. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about the MochaVerse NFT. So the MochaVerse mint in March 2023 was met with strong demand, selling out in under two days and generating 5.5 million dollars in sales volume. The floor quickly rose from the from the min price of 0.138 ETH to over one Ethereum. Today, worth four thousand dollars as of the 12th of March. To expand participation beyond the 8,000 NFTs, Animoca introduced Mocha ID, an on-chain identity that provides membership access. Partnership with CyberConnect, Rarible, and major wallets are integrating Mocha ID to enable seamless engagement across Animoca's ecosystem. Uh, Mochaverse continues to add utility through initiatives like the Moga XP reward system, Realm Points, Shards Mining, and exclusive events. Um, they also did release recently a Mocha token, and uh, we could go ahead and talk about that at another time for token research. This is specifically uh, an NFT uh, research. Uh, but why don't we go ahead and type in inside of the Open uh, OpenSea Pro uh, dashboard the Mochaverse NFT. So we could see here. Uh, some very basic information uh, minted on Ethereum about a year ago, 5% creator fee. Like we said, 8,888, you know, uh, 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 items. And from the beginning, so we said last year that they reached up to a one Ethereum. Now it's close to four, um, which is a very significant price increase compared to, you know, obviously how it started. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the market. Uh, so here... There have been eight sales in the past 24 hours, 157 sales in the past seven days, and then 280 sales in the past 30 days. Um, and so let's go ahead and just see the activity that's been going on here. So people are obviously listing uh, their NFTs inside of different you know, marketplaces. The last one was done eight minutes ago at 3.67 uh, nine Ethereum. 
Uh, this is, you know, the listing of 910. Uh, has there been any sale yet? Yes, the last sale was made seven hours ago. Um, yep. So it, it doesn't it doesn't seem like there's you know that crazy engagement, but they have been you know making trends. They haven't they have been making uh, good progress over the past uh, couple of days, and that's exactly why I wanted to go ahead and show you guys this. Um, so this is what we spoke about. A couple minutes ago so the mocha id so claim your mocha id to join missions and reward and rewards today um i don't think i could claim the id because i just don't have a mocha nft or i don't have a code uh, but this is what you would probably would be doing uh if you're inside of the mocha verse um, they have a very particular branding uh, the art itself is clearly geared you know to uh space spaceship type art uh, it's not my cup of tea personally, uh, but definitely a very strong brand. They obviously have done the research in terms of, you know, who they want to go ahead and target. And uh, yep, this is uh, the Mochaverse. So if you guys have any questions or comments or if you guys want to go ahead and, you know, have a conversation about this in the comments below, please let me know. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for uh, joining Web3 Money and uh, we will see each other tomorrow.